Hi, welcome to Bigfoot Adventures. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be telling you a story um, that came to me from Minnesota from a guy named Mark and Kyle and they had a Bigfoot sighting up there so let's uh, get into it. Welcome to Bigfoot Adventures. Have you ever had a Bigfoot sighting? If you have and you don't want to let anybody know that it was you that saw them or you're afraid to tell your story because you're afraid of you being made fun of, I'd be glad to tell your story for you. All you have to do is email me your story at bigfootadventures411 at gmail.com. Let me know what you want me to say, what you don't want me to say, and I can put your story out there so other people can hear about it without you being identified. This next story comes to me from two gentlemen from Minnesota. Um, their names are Mark and Kyle. They did not want me to share their last names. And this happened in September of 2018. And it was in the northeast corner of Minnesota near a lake. Um, they had gone out to their, their area where they normally hunt at and they were scouting and looking for evidence of deer and um, seeing if they could see anything and putting a few trail cameras out to capture some deer for the upcoming hunting season. And they had been scouting pretty much all day, um, you know, hiking through the woods. And Kyle said he kept hearing something knocking like he would hear a knock once in a while off in the distance and he didn't think much of it um but as the day went on they got louder and it seemed to you know the one knock would answer another knock and um he mentioned it to mark and mark thought it was weird too and um you know they just kept hiking they didn't know what it was and at the time, they didn't really think much about Bigfoot. You know, they weren't really into Bigfoot or believers. Um, so as they, they kept walking, it was getting late towards the evening. And that's when they heard some whoops, like some kind of vocal whoops in the woods. And they started heading back to their camp. So they get back to camp. They set up their tent. And, you know, they ate some dinner and they were just enjoying a fire, sitting there by the fire talking, you know, about the upcoming hunting season. And it was getting later and later into the evening and they started seeing like eye shine off in the distance. And they were wondering if it was a deer or something but then they realized that it was really high off the ground to be a deer and the eye set was really wide. So they just kept watching it and they watched it move from one area to another area. And it seemed to be watching them as they sat by the fire. But they just kind of ignored it and kept talking. And then they decided that it was time to, you know, go to bed. So they got in the tent and they both fell quick, quickly asleep. And it was around 3 a.m. Mark woke up because he thought he heard somebody outside. And when he woke up, he heard something. It sounded like something was rubbing up against nylon. And then he realized it was something rubbing up against their tent. And as he laid there listening to this, he realized that, you know, it was like going around the tent, not just in one spot, but going around the tent. And he started worrying that it might be a bear. And then in the, in the night light, you could still see the fire a little bit. And he realized when he could still see the fire that he could also see like a silhouette of what he thought was a man. 
a very large man. So he whispered to Mark and, or Mark whispered to Kyle and woke Kyle up. And uh, Kyle, you know, he, he had a pistol on him and they were whispering, you know, should we go out there and confront this guy? What is he doing? What is he stealing our stuff? You know, why is he here? That whole thing. So they decided that they would confront the guy because they figured there's two of them and it looked like only one of them. So they opened the tent and they shine the light out. And as they shine the light out, they see this hairy thing on two feet running from them. And, and it wasn't like they said it wasn't like a bear. It was running like a man runs and it was full of hair. And as it was running, it was making this like growling, horrible growling sound. And, you know, Mark said it just, it just put chills up his spine. And he said the hair on the back of his neck was standing up and they were freaking out. And the ta- the thing ran, ran off and they were debating whether they should just pack up and leave then, but it was still dark. So they decided that they would wait till the morning. So they got back in the tent and the rest of the night they didn't hear anything else. They just lay in the tent, you know, they, they fell back asleep and they'd, they'd wake up and listen, but they never heard her anything else. So the next morning when they woke up, they came out of the tent and they were looking around and they could see large, very large footprints. Um, barefooted footprints all around the area. Um, they said they didn't have anything to cast them and they were so freaked out they just packed up and left immediately. Um, they said that they didn't even actually go back out there and hunt that season after this experience because they were so freaked out. So that's their story and I just wanted to let you all hear this story um sounds like it was pretty frightening um i appreciate you all listening and watching my videos and until next time don't forget to get outside and live